Next, and on to our dinosaur of the day, Fuqui Raptor, whose name means Fuqui Thief. And Fuqui Raptor was named in 2000 by Dr. Philip Curry from the University of Alberta and Yochi Azuma from the Fuqui Prefectural Dinosaur Museum in Japan. The type species is Fuqui Raptor kitadaniensis, and the type species, interestingly, was possibly a juvenile. It was only about 4.2 meters long, 14 feet, and 2 meters or 6 feet 6 tall. It was found in Japan, and it lived in the Cretaceous, and it's a carnosaur, like Allosaurus, but at first, Fuqui Raptor was thought to be a raptor, because when it was found, one of its large claws on its hand was thought to be the killing claw, or the dew claw on its toe, which is similar to other dromaeosaurs, but eventually scientists determined that the claw belonged on its hand. Now, even though scientists first thought the type specimen was a juvenile, they think it actually may have been an adult, since other specimens have since been found in the same area, and they have found some juveniles that were a lot smaller. The theory is that Fuqui Raptor may have been small, or at least small at a young age, and would have grown much bigger over the years, like Tyrannosaurids. Now, there's actually one analysis that found it may be a tyrannosaurid. Officially, Fuqui Raptor is the most complete and only theropod found in Japan, and the holotype is a partial skeleton. It's jaw fragments, teeth, vertebrae, bones from the arms and hind limbs. And in 2000, in the paper by Dr. Philip Curry and Azuma, they described Fuqui Raptor as having narrow blade-like cheek teeth based on its maxillary crown. Some of the teeth had blood grooves, which were found on Fuqui Raptor teeth, but not other theropod teeth from the Kitadani Quarry, where it was found. Its teeth were similar to other carnosaurs and had small serrations. And compared to herbivore fossils in the Kitadani Quarry, Fuqui Raptor bones were pretty common. There are actually more theropods in the quarry, which is rare, and there may have been, quote, some unusual circumstances involved in the genesis of the site, according to the paper. So, for example, because so many juvenile Fuqui raptors were found, it may have been near a nesting site. There's a couple examples of quarries with more carnivore than herbivore bones, such as the Cleveland Lloyd Quarry, which has more than 70 Allosaurus individuals and may have been a predator trap. Other sites with lots of carnivores were due to drought, they all died at once, or raised the possibility that carnivores may have hunted in packs which is a theory by Dr. Philip Curry, and he talks about that in our interview with him in an earlier episode. But it's not clear why there were so many theropods in the Kitadani quarry. If you want to see Fuqui Raptor, you can see an animatronic version in the Fuqui Prefectural Dinosaur Museum in Japan, along with 10 other animatronic dinosaurs. Apparently, the animatronic Fuqui Raptor blinks and moves its head as well as poses threateningly. I've seen some of those, uh, some videos of the animatronic dinosaurs in that museum, and they look awesome. So I really want to go there. It, it shouldn't be surprising since Japan is always very advanced in terms of robotics, but that looks like a really good dinosaur museum. Yeah, and the museum is pretty new. It opened in 2000, the same year Fuqui Raptor was named, and admission is 1,200 yen. I had to check just to see how much that is in U.S. dollars. It's about $10, so don't get scared away by that price. It's one of the largest dinosaur museums in Japan, and it's located in Katsuyama City, Fukui Prefecture. It's the center of dinosaur research in Japan. The museum has four floors, and of course it's near the Kitadani Quarry, which is a large excavation site, possibly one of the largest dinosaur quarries in the world. And this excavation site has bones, eggshells, and footprints. It's a little bit complicated how Fuqui Raptor is grouped. So it is a Megaraptorin neovenatorid allosaurid, although there are some who say Megaraptorins may be tyrannosaurids. But Fernando Novas and his colleagues in 2012 grouped Megaraptora in a paper in studies as part of Neovenatoridae, which makes Neovenatorids one of the last types of allosaurids. At least one of them, Orgoraptor, lived at the end of the Cretaceous. Megaraptor is a group of large theropods. They're part of a large group of carnosaurs that includes allosaurids, metriacanthosaurids, and carcharodontosaurids. Neovenatoridae is a family that represents a branch of allosaurids and and they had short, wide shoulder blades and a lot of cavities in their upper hip bones. 